Hey, Joseph. Hey. Uh, so, an interesting announcement today from Yahoo, an address book API. Can you tell us a little bit about what that is and why it matters? Yeah, this is awesome. So, this is uh, Yahoo's now got a full two way synchronization and access API for all of the Yahoo address book data that, you know, Yahoo Mail, Yahoo address book kind of stuff. So, um, this lets Yahoo users come in and it's, it's built on BB Auth, which means you don't have to take Yahoo user passwords. They go over and say, you know, yes, it's okay to have access to this. And then you get a nice robust API where you can, you know, import your Yahoo contacts and find who you know on some site or even do the kind of robust two-way address book synchronization that we do at Plaxo. So very excited to be able to do that with those guys. As, you know, as probably people know, sync is hard enough on its own, but it's almost impossible when the person you're syncing with doesn't have the right kind of interface exposed. And uh, so to see Yahoo do something this you know technically deep is uh, is really exciting and how does this all fit in with the data portability meme and the opening of the social web well I think Yahoo has just been firing on all cylinders lately I mean you saw them be the first well I guess the first but one of the big sort of real mainstream sites to uh, provide open IDs for all their users and uh, that's sort of about the who I am piece but then there's the whole who I know piece people talk about social graph and our walled gardens opening up and here you have Yahoo sitting on top of one of the largest troves of who you know data of all the users and all their address books. And to see Yahoo take such a firm and unequivocal stance that, hey, this is our users' data, we're going to let them have access to it and mash it up everywhere they go, I think it's an incredibly positive motion for you know, the kind of stuff we're all trying to build here. And not unlike what they did with OpenID where they said, you know what, let's, let's take this mainstream and let's make a clear stance that it's the users' data and Yahoo wants to be part of this ecosystem and we, know, we think that's good for us and good for our users. So that's great things. And of course, it has immediate implications today because so many people have their data in Yahoo. And uh, of course I see that uh, Plexo is involved in this. Seems like every time there's some new API or open standard or opportunity to help users move their data securely, uh, you guys are involved in supporting that and implementing it. Um, what's Plexo's role and why are you involved? Sure, well, I mean, you know, we've, we've worked with Yahoo for quite a while and we've uh, been eagerly uh, awaiting being able to do the kind of deep integration that we now can. And, and in fact, um, I should say, even though it's just being announced today, we've actually been live with this new API for a little bit, and we certainly worked with them in the early days to help uh, get it all debugged and integrated well, and they've been awesome to work with. Um, you know, Plaxo is fundamentally about trying to help you stay connected to the people you care about on the tools you care about, and so this is a, a big piece of the puzzle for us. Uh, and it's, it's great to see people like Yahoo you know, wanting to work with us to make sure that we can get it right out the gate, and uh, certainly we think that the more we can help show people how good the world looks when the tools you use play together, the more that's going to help more people follow in their footsteps and do the same. Cool. Thanks a lot. That's Joseph Smarr from Plaxo.